Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of the Arkham Gauntlet, where we are in, uh, at death's doorstep of the Circle Undone. Justice. Silvertoid enemies cannot be damaged or defeated when you draw a monster enemy instead of spawning that set it aside out of play. Place one doom on this agenda. This effect can cause the agenda to advance. Be true to yourself and seek the truth in others. You must balance the scales. You shall be called to account for your actions. I got a little throat thing. There we go. All right. Hidden Agendas. As you approach the patio of the meager estate, a man in an elegant suit checks your invitation to the door. Inside, guests mingle and chat with one another, but much of the conversation is awkward and terse. A silent tension has gripped the manor, and you are not sure why. Find information about the disappearances by discovering as many clues as you can. Do not advance until you are instructed. Hint, it may be worthwhile, worthwhile to investigate the last known locations of the missing persons. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, okay, scavenging off the bat. Oh! Yeah. Everyone, yeah, everyone fucking clap. That's huge! Is there frozen in fear in this scenario? No? There is! There's frozen in fear in this scenario. <laughs> Alright, plan for that. I'm gonna plan for that so much. That we're gonna keep these ones. Um... I mean, there's a lot to like here. We're keeping scavenging. I don't think I actually need you. I mean, Dexter is admit Dexter has five brains, so admittedly, like, it's gonna be manageable. But like, we don't want to play Cyclopean Hammer on turn one and lose it to a Crypt Chill on turn two, right? Mm, I don't know. Plus, there's nothing to fight at the beginning. I'm just going to kill Silver Twilight Lodge members for fun if I find them, TBH. <laughs> just going to, hey, you, girl. <laughs> Get fucked. Okay. I'm having trouble with this Min Mulligan. I think we kill the field work. All right, let's see our short supply. That's good. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Oh, we got two really good short supplies. We have to respect them when those happen. Those were two really good short supplies. We got two fortuitouses. So if our economy can ever play the third one, a glimmer, which is not great, just one. But we got a wing in it, which is awesome. We'd love to see it. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think we just like. We just move. Actually, no, I think what we do is we play Dream Diary. No, 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 no. We play Scavenging. We play Schaffner's. And then we use Schaffner's to pay for the Dream Diary. We have no other items in here. It's a very awkward scavenging deck, I'm not gonna lie. 
And that's like on the the whim of the gauntlet. Which one is this? Child? Alright, we're probably not going to get 8 cards in our hand. But I mean like a free unexpected courage plus 1 every turn is really good. So Dex is going to play the hammer. And we're going to use 2 Schaffners for that, I think. So then we go 1, 2, 3. I'm going to e-cash for sure. And we're going to drop down a Blood Pact. Great first turn. Upkeep. Upkeep. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, 1 of 8. Evil card. Test for 3. If your feature point you fail by, take a damage. If your location is haunted, as an additional cost for you to investigate to commit one or more cards. Okay, I'll go up 5. Sorry, I'll go, I'll go 2, 5, up 3. <clears throat> so we'll go 3 to... Sorry, we'll go up 2. So we're up 2 right now. Nice. So while you're here, Unexpected Courage. Test brain 4. If you fail, put Terran to 9 to play next to the agenda deck. If you fail by 3 or more, gain Surge. Okay, uh, we'll go 5 to f 5 to 4. We do fail. Each investigator takes three horror. Okay. We just got to pass one of those tests. All right. Min is going to move one. Min is going to go two. Okay. <clears throat> uh, oh, I have you. Thank you. Uh, Min is going to wing it. I think. So we're going four to three. We can go six to three. Minus one. If you reveal a skull, a bad token, a symbol token while investigating the office, place one doom on the nearest silver twilight enemy. Should we do good to grab two clues here? Nice job, Min. Much appreciated. Uh, we also scavenge back our Schaffners. Because we had a minus one. We had four, five, six, five to three. Yeah, we're good. Dex is going to move up here and get rid of the Yazdoroth. Upkeep. Two of eight. <clears throat> Evil card is a monster. Place a doom on this agenda. Um, if no doom is placed, this is going to gain surge. Spawn any empty location. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I think we... You need six clues before the gen advances to spawn Joey to begin with. Cool. Well, we should get them. I know I also got I know I gotta clear the the clues off of this one to get Jerome anyway, so that's kind of what we want to be doing. I know we want to start there. Alright, give me a winging it from your hand. Otherwise known as the strongest way to play winging it. So we have four to three. I can go. Six to three. Nice. All right. I think I'm just going to like have this happen. We're going to go eight to three. Eight to four, sorry. Eight to four. Use Min's ability on this. 
Minus two is good. There's no spectral enemy. And then we can scavenge, but we have nothing to scavenge. And then we just move down here. Which diaries did you get? I got hand size and enemy, I believe. We got madman and child. Let me check. Yeah, madman and child. All right, Dex is going to move over here. Uh, Dex is going to try to brain you. We're going to go five to two. Nice. And then Dex is going to move back here. Actually, we'll draw a card. Yeah, you're nice. Actually, you're bad. <laughs> you're bad. I think just the Doom goes away. Yes, no, that is how it goes. I You can't actually kill these guys. No, you guys are right. You guys are right. Ooh, that's a really good draw. All right, four of eight. Evil card. Each location game's haunted. Take one horror. Sure, that's going to be for men. All right, Min is going to go one. Two. I think I'm going to... Mm. How likely are we to advance? We go to five. We go to seven. Worst case scenario, we draw two enemies. I think that's okay, right? I think we just want to get this out here. Dexter's going to draw a card. There's no reason to play this, but I'm going to play it. And we're going to move here. All right, upkeep. Arm injury. Okay, uh, after, uh, uh, get back here. I'm too quick for, I'm too quick for Tabletop Simulator. Fastest mouse in the West. I have to take a fighter activate action. Okay. That's pretty good. Ooh, the mists I'll also take. Okay. We're at five of eight. Min, you're the fucking fool. Doggy. All right. Yo, I'm going to wing it, I think. Is there a point to wing it, or do we save that for part two? I think we save that for part two, right? Once the victory's on the, situ the table. Uh, so we'll go four to one. Yes. We'll go four to one. Yes. We'll go four to one. Yes. That's Arkham, baby. Okay. I mean, all emergency cash. I'm going to play the mists. There's, once again, no reason not to. Uh, draw a card for my last action. I can have two blood packs in play? All right, I'll keep. It's going pretty smoothly so far, to be honest. Seven of eight. Ooh, this is the one we want to pass. So we essence of the dream, and we go eight to four. One with min ability, one with this. Nice, that's huge, that's big. And we get a draw card. OK, 
Okay, all right. Things are, yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't even used the hammer yet. <laughs> no! Anyways, I'll put a doom on this, and we'll go seven to four. <laughs> you certainly tried, game. You certainly tried. All right, we'll lose the blood pact. Blood Pact did its job, though. Good job, Blood Pact. Everyone, everyone's proud of you. <clears throat> All right, Min. Do we we do we lose our clues when it advances? Right, we lose our clues when this goes. We just need to have our clues. We need to have a certain number. So like, there's no reason to do this right now, right? We don't lose our clues, so there is a reason to do this right now. purpose to be discarded when you aren't needed anymore just like me for real for real hell yeah <laughs> that's the spirit of student sparse i wish i had an initiate i don't even have an initiate you might be that might be you might be thinking ritual candles It's kind of have that like fiery look. It does. The art is very similar. It does. It has like that soft orange. For real. It does. All right. So then is there a reason for me to do this? I mean, like, what do I always forget? I haven't, I haven't played this one in a while. Yeah, it speeds up part two. Happy to hear it. All right, Dex, why don't you do this? Search, uh, discard cards until you draw, uh, spawn that enemy in the Victorian halls. These fuckers have aloof, huh? Hello? There it is. Okay. And then we gain two clues from the token pool. He comes in with a doom, which doesn't actually matter right now. <clears throat> um, I'm going to play a blood pact and draw a card. It's a little bit awkward because we actually like probably want to keep these cards in our deck because we need the consistency. We can probably lose the candles, but we probably want to keep the sword canes. Min gets this. Min is going to draw a card. That's good. And she's going to go one, two. Okay, I'll keep. I'll keep. All right. Reset. <clears throat> Astral Mirror to hold the candles. Oh, I... They, does, Daisy might have not taken Astral... Astral Mirror might be on the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, she's like, he's swinging with the hammer. The, the Astral Mirror's floating around him. That's a Dark Souls boss if I've ever heard it. All right. If the investigators do not possess three player clues as a group. However, we do. So we will spend six of our clues. And then spawn the set aside Joseph Meager enemy at the location. Other than the entry hall that is farthest from all investigators. Uh, we can put them in the billiards room. I know this side generally has softer haunted locations. I remember that just generally being true. Because this one sucks. I remember that. Always thinking about that realm of torment. All right, so we have to lose six of our clues. Two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> a 
Okay. Read interlude one. All right. Uh, if Jerome David's profile is not crossed off and there are no clues on the office, read the following. Uh, we are on Jerome's trail and we're also actually on Penny's trail. Resolve Act 1B. We have to remove all clues from each location and play. Thank you. All right, before you can investigate further, the building is suddenly plunged into icy darkness. All the lights flicker once and are snuffed out. A thick, otherworldly mist begins to seep into the corridors, causing everything it touches to decay. Move each investigator and enemy currently in the entry halls to the Victorian halls. Find each, uh, for each location, spawn the set-aside spectral virgin. All car tokens and cards of the former location are not considered the new location. If there's an investigator at the location, reveal it. So, how does everyone think uh, Brit and I's, as I'm setting this up, and just to fill space, because the one thing I'm really good at is filling space. <laughs> but how do you guys think Brynn and I's um, all skills challenge is going through the Forgotten Age? All right, in play order, each investigator spawns one of the set-aside monsters at his or location until each of the set-aside monsters has been spawned. At least one of you is poisoned. More auto fails and elder signs, I bet. Better than the gauntlet, I hope. I can tell you that two of those things are true. Uh, we spawn them, but that means they have prey lowest foot, so they actually can both go to decks. Let's get ready to hammer! All right. Spawn the set aside spectral watcher enemy in the entry hall. Shuffle the remainder of the set aside, the watcher encounter set, and the set aside realm of death encounter set into the counter deck along with the encounter discard pile. Cards are under the watcher too. Thank you. Much appreciated. That's one of those things I definitely would have noticed when I picked this guy up and then the other cards came out. <laughs> okay, and now we go to, it's still Mythos phase, right? Yeah. Okay. Does this have something to do with the four missing persons? And if so, what does that mean for your survival? Each Silver Twilight enemy gains victory zero and counts as an investigator for the purpose of determining where hunter enemies move during the enemy phase. After the hunter enemies move, step of the enemy phase, ready spectral enemies deal its damage equal to, the, uh, to each humanoid enemy at its location. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we get our evil cards. Any empty location. Dude, you gotta die. You gotta die, brother. <laughs> Sorry. Bad news. Place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Uh, then until the end of the round, increase the difficulty to fight. Evader parlay that with that enemy by two. Alright. Well, I'm sorry. Now you probably also have to die. Okay. Keep it under him, IMO. Uh, is it only until the end of the round? Oh, the, or the cards. Yeah, the Watcher does kill those guys really nicely. Problem is, we gotta get away from the Watcher. Which I think is very doable. 
I want to get the office though, because I do know it has good VP on it. But right now our thing is also Joseph Meager. We could also just kill him. We could also just kill him. What if we just hit him with the hammer? <laughs> now what if we just... What if we just kill him with a hammer? What if... I know I said at the start that I wanted to talk to the Lodge, right? But right now, things are going very well. And I'm like, yeah, but what if we just keep this going? By Lodge, you mean Lodge this hammer in his skull. You get it. You get it. This guy has a dual on him, by the way. That's a very, it's a very violent, it was like that thing I said on, I think it was Friday, when I said I was going to like kill an enemy, but I said it really brutally, and I felt very bad afterwards. I mean, we're going to whack these guys, but I think what I'm also going to do is we're going to blood pack it a bit. So we have um, 10 to 2. I always forget how good the hammer is. I haven't played it since Father Mateo. In Circle Undone, funnily enough. All right, 10 to 2. Yeah, get fucked, brother. All right. This time I'm going to increase my fist. I actually don't think I can. Because I'm adding it to it. Oh, no, yeah, I do it. I did his fist each time, yeah. All right, so we have 10 to 2 again. I guess it exhausts now. Succeed by two or more. Oh yeah, it is tabooed, isn't it? It does, So it doesn't kill this guy. But we can conveniently knock him into this location. So it exhausts for the three damage. I'm debating starting Scarlet Keys, but I can't convince any friends to go through it with me. Worth no, worth going through it two-handed or wait for a friend? I mean, uh, is most of your Arkham, do you play it, uh, do you play it for, do you play two-handed or do you play soul, like, or do you play with friends? Because I think if you play with friends, I would try to still fandangle a friend to play it with you. But if you can't, it's not like playing a two-handed is going to suck. Um... If you succeed and the enemy is non-elite, you may move it one location away from me. If you succeed by three or more, you may exhaust it and instead deal two damage and move it two. So the exhaust is for the two damage. This card's fucking garbage now. I don't want to play it. <laughs> Alright, well he's going to slowly maul this guy to death. Right? So that's kind of sick. And I think we move over here for our last action. Uh, I would say I don't think Scarlet Keys gets better with more players. So if you can't fandangle a friend into it, I don't think you're going to lose anything. We just casually have four Doom in play. Okay, Min. I think we have to do this side first and we try to get this before we get out. I think that's kind of the plan. So Min's going to move in here. We're going to investigate. Dude, fucking Dream Diary and Grizzly Totem 3 seems like a great combination. So we're going to investigate at 7 to 2. Yep. Yep. I can scavenge. Do I have an item in here? Man, once we get uh, ice picks. Whew. Yeah, that's good to hear. Let me draw a card. I think then I'm going to investigate. 
And we're going to go 6 to 2. I haven't used Min's ability yet. Nice. Okay. So this guy moves here, and then it's at the end of the... Uh... Alright, so you're dead. Just making it easier for me to talk to Joseph Meager. <laughs> and then you take one damage. He's victory? Ah, yes, that's how they, they have victory now. Thank you. All right. Upkeep. All right. We're at four of 11. All right. That's actually probably a good thing. Because it exhausts. <laughs> it's engaged with me, but it's exhausted. That's how that works. All right. But he doesn't disengage with me, so he's still hanging out with men. You can't take my blood pact from me. Does it kill the cultist? No. They only I think they only attack uh It's only they don't they only do it during the enemy phase. Anyway, we have seven to four. Cool. So maybe do we try to kill the... I think we try to kill this guy, right? Just to, like, maybe knock him on the ground. We have the hammer, and, like, we don't have much else that we need to do right now. So maybe Dexter engages the guy. Because I don't, I don't want to hit Min. I know you're like, but Justin, you're going to be fine. I mean, we, what else am I going to do with my last action? Draw a card? Okay. Um, and then we're going to whack him, and we're going to pump it up. So we have 10 to 3. Cool. He'll take 3 damage, but we cannot move him away, for he is elite. We're going to do it one more time. All right. He is going to be defeated. He is super frozen. Uh, and then I think I'm going to Dexter out this. Thank you, Blood Pact. I, I'm getting major work out of Blood Pact. Holy hell. All right, Min. Yeah. I love that it has a home in Dexter that's like actually like a really good home. Sorry, you have two Doom on you, brother. I keep forgetting about you because I know you're already dead. All right. We're going to play a scroll of secrets. I'll look at the bond card in my deck. Might as well, right? I want to get my fortuitous discovery. Grizzly totem. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to discard a Grizzly Totem chat. Alright. I think I'm going to play a Schaffner's. I should have done that first, and then we gain a resource. I definitely misplayed that turn, but we're kind of just, like, waiting for this guy to die. Which is now. Victory. Okay. Upkeep.
Ding. Uh, it's a relic? It's a relic? <laughs> it's a relic. For each point you fail by taking one damage, if your location is haunted, as an additional cost for an investigator, commit one or more skill cards to test. He or she must also resolve each haunted. Oh, I think that's actually probably not a problem. But I'll commit this. Four to three. Five, six to three. I don't think we need the lone wolf. Cool. What's the haunted? This location has lose two resources. Oh, fuck. I'm an idiot. Uh, no, we're going back in time. We're just going to let that happen. I'm an idiot. No, I read the card out loud, but I didn't actually process it because I'm too busy, like, already thinking about my turn. Yeah, we'll just go two to three. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take two damage. For some reason, my head was like, yeah, if you fail this card, you actually attach it to your location. And it adds a double haunted. Don't mind me. I'm dumb. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to take three damage. I got it, Discard Pack. Gosh. <laughs> I get there. It just sometimes takes me a second. You got to give me some time, please. Like, I get there. All right. Well, Min's going to go talk to Joseph this turn. And I guess Dexter's going to bonk a ghost. Hello. Attack at 9 to 2. It's dead. The last action. Hmm. Let's say we attack the Spectral Watcher. Nine to three. Sure. All right. So then Min is going to move in here. Uh, first, we're going to do this. Look at the bottom of your deck, Dexter. Yeah, we can discard that. Uh, and then Min moves in here. Okay. And then we talk to Joseph. We have four. Eight. We'll go eight to four. All right. We'll draw a card. There it is. And we've passed this. All right. Joseph lowers his weapon and studies you for a moment. Perhaps you're telling the truth, but if that is true, he ponders the situation, then holsters his weapon and checks his pocket watch. Regardless, we have little time. If my estimate is correct, the anomaly will recede soon. We must be out of that manner before that occurs, or we'll all be trapped here. You ask how he knows all of this, but he merely shakes his head. This is not the time. Ask again if we make it out of here alive. Remove all doom from this card. From the end of the game, doom cannot be placed on Silver Twilight enemies, and Joseph Meeker gains aloof. Flip this card back to its enemy side and disengage it from all investigators. You'll love to see it. And then, do we have a wing in it? We do have a wing in it in there. I think I'm going to wing in it for my last... Oh, I, gotta, no, I did draw the card. We're going to wing in it for my last action. We're going to do the one from the discard pile. So we have four to two. I will go six to two. Mm. 
and well. <laughs> Don't mind if I diddly doodle. And then we return this to our hand. It's like we didn't even commit a card. That's sick. And then we can spend not... We need to grab one more clue somewhere. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going into the office then, right? All right. You come here. Let me go upkeep as well. I'm pretty sure I can lose this uh, sword cane. We have a bigger sword cane in our hands right now. And then this guy comes here. Okay, that's fine. Evil card, uh, four to four. This one actually doesn't matter. We don't fail by three or more. Only the third one matters, which is now shoveled back in the deck, but I'm, I'm not too worried about it. We're only going to spend the resources for the next one. Nah, oh, shit, it's back. That's not good, because Dexter can die here, which would be really bad. Alright, so we'll resolve the haunted thing. We'll lose two resources, because we can commit one, two, three, four. I think we have to pass this, so we're going to go six. You should be gone, by the way. You've been gone for ages. Six to three. Cool. Cool. All right, Dex, don't draw any more of those, please, okay? All right, Chad, do we min it? Do we do what min is really good at? One, two, which is just killing a random enemy that needs to just take one damage. So we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight to two. We could go to nine, but that just seems a bit greedy. Good kill, min. <laughs> <laughs> fucking minty fan <laughs> ladies and germs it's minty fan all right uh let's attack we have nine to three nice we'll deal three damage we're now nine to three one more time I mean, like, we're lucky that there's no other enemies on the board right now. But those two auto-fails on those attack kind of suck. Alright, upkeep. Um, a Tichophobia. Alright, we're going to discard this wing in it. And then we go 4 of 11. Evil card over here. A Crypt Chill? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'm a scavenging deck. Um, I'll get rid of you. You fucker. <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch. Alright. That was very rude. Just so you know, that was very rude, and I'm not happy with you. How does Dexter always die to damage? It's like his superpower, isn't it? He's just, like, really good at sniffing out that damage and dying to it. Alright. Min is going to move up here. Haunted. Choose and discard a card from your hand. Alright, Chad. It's time. Sorry, it only costs two. 
we're going to play Fortuitous Discovery. So X is the number of other copies of Fortuitous Discovery in your discard pile. We have two of them in there. Let's go. So that gives me six to four. I will go eight to four. Minus three. We'll grab three clues. Draw a card. My question is, how does a magician who does sleight of hand has low agility? That's the magic. He's actually just doing magic the whole time. Okay, so we can spend uh, eight clues, which I would like to do. So I just need to get, keep two of them aside. So it's action one and action two, right? Because we, we moved in here for our first action. All right. Ah, shit. We shuffled these fuckers back in. Are you kidding me? That's not good. Uh, now that the miss is receded, you might... Oh, sorry, this one. You find the corpse of one of the others trapped here. Remember the Silver Twilight Lodge. You surmise, although his outfit of blue and silver robes suggest something more esoteric. Gripped tightly in his withered hand is a small tome bearing the insignia of the Lodge. Browsing through its pages, you're surprised to find all manner of information regarding the mist and the creatures you've encountered, including a spell to release the bonds of death and escape the mist. How long has this man been here studying this realm? Regardless, at least you have a way out now. We can reveal the entry hall. We shuffle the encounter deck into there. And now, now that the mist has received, you might be able to escape with your lives. But what about Joseph Meager and the other members of the lodge left behind? Should you make sure they escape or flee while you have the chance? At the end of the round, each Silver Twilight enemy in the entry hall escapes. Place them beneath the entry hall, out of play. Move each ready Silver Twilight Lodge with enemy of the leafy words one towards the entry hall. Okay. I have one action left. Um, and I'm going to investigate. Four... Six, eight, eight to four. Nice. Draw a card. Okay. Dexter. Honestly, I'm not too worried. I don't think we're going to fail enough tests for Itichophobia to be a thing. So we're going to attack this guy. Nine to three. Exhausted to deal three damage. Card's still strong, like as hell, but I, because it's just the number gets so big, but I do actually dig this whole um, exhaust thing. I think it's kind of good. Uh, I'm going to draw a card because we're trying to find foot symbols or soak, which Molly Maxwell luckily provides. Molly Maxwell provides it so much that we're going to kill this Azure Flame for Molly Maxwell. Molly! All right, that makes me feel a bit better about those foot test ones. We don't just die to the next one we see. Upkeep. Upkeep. They move once towards the entry hall. Is she a good ally? Perhaps even worthy of a top three allies mention? That's a question for Bryn. <laughs> Bryn might know the answer to that. All right, five of 11. Evil card. A, 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 a ghost! Crypt chill? I was born for this. Six of eight. Six to four, sorry, six to four. Nice. Okay. Well. I haven't scavenged. I mean, there's nothing for me. I Once I get my ice picks in this deck, like, I think the min deck's gonna start going to the moon.
Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to try to evade this guy. We have two. Six. Six to one? Yeah, I'll just do six to one. That seems really comfortable. Cool. Um, I'm going to move in here. This is such a scary location, but I think I'm going to move into this one for my last action. I have a plan. And that plan is to hopefully not get hit with a Realm of Torment. Dexter's going to go 1, 2, and he has a dog to kill, so we're going to attack this dog 9 to 2. Down, boy! <laughs> and more jokes from playing board games. All right, dog's dead. All right, upkeep. We'll lose the wing in it. These guys will move. All right. This guy stands up. And then we go Mythos Phase. Six of 11. So, heal three damage from the Spectral Watcher, ready the Spectral Watcher, it moves, engages, and attacks as if it were the enemy phase. So he actually goes and puts two damage on Joseph Meager, right? No, no, that one is specifically an after the Hunter enemies moves phase. Yeah, no, because we're not resolving the hunter enemy's move. So he's not going to damage Joseph Meager. But he is going to trip and fall in the middle of the floor here. All right, well, that plan didn't work out. I was hoping to draw an encounter card that maybe make a test, and I could throw some true understandings on it. Oh, you're saying it might actually trigger an enemy phase? Because it was an as-if? That's a tough question to answer. I'm going to say... I have no clue. I have no clue. I, I think I'm going to wager no. But I don't know. A ghost. Okay. Well... Uh, why don't we wing it? So we have four to two. Why don't you give me... I'm going to use my inquiring mind here. Uh, so we have eight to two. Using Min's ability. Nice. Grab two clues. Shuffle this in. We're going to move in here. Um, and I have another wing in it. And that will play from the discard pile. Uh, so we have four to zero. Seems pretty good. It is. Whew. Kind of sick. Mins, <laughs> I was going to say sucked it dry, but I immediately regretted it, so I stopped. All right, so we have eight to two. Sorry, nine to two. Yeah, you're toast. We're then going to move in here. I'm going to attack you at nine to three. Sweet, we'll exhaust it to ding you for three damage. We then go upkeep. This guy gets out. And Joseph moves there. Okay. 
and then you stand up in your fighting decks. Seven of eleven, evil card over here. It's a fate of all fools. We'll take two direct damage. Sure. Okay. Min's just going to go one, two, three, I think. Dex is going to whack the Spectral Watcher. We have nine to three. Yep. Get down. Just bullying the Ancient One, I guess. And I'm going to move in here and let's, uh, he, <laughs> Dexter steps out and does his flask. He goes, whew, it was crazy in there, don't you think? And then we go upkeep. I think Min's side definitely stemmed from the our great um, our great mulligan. Sorry, our great uh, short supply on that. And also the fact that the arm injury actually doesn't do anything. Like if we missed that one fight action, we would have had to do an evade action. Alright, this guy is going to ready. We go 8 of 11. It's foggy here. And we resign. That one went very well. That one went, I mean, the power of Cyclopean Hammer on turn one, right? Kind of really good. Coming to this place was a terrible mistake. You had hoped to uncover evidence pertaining to the disappearances of the estate, not to become victims yourselves. As you tear through the entry hall and slam through the manor's heavy front doors, you've got to put as much distance between you and the meager estate as you possibly can. Unfortunately, your plan is quickly derailed. Resolution 1. All right, the investigators escape the spectral realm, and we get victory X. And we get victory. We don't get you yet, though. So we get one, two, three, four. You don't even have I got you. I got your. I got you. <laughs> I went and got you, and you don't even have victory points. I just was like, uh, no. <laughs> it's just no brainer. And I was just like, I right, go to the balcony, get the clues, and then we get out of here. That's actually really funny. Wow. Game's not going to reward me for doing that? Anyways. One, two, three, four. Alright. Yo, are either you still a Twilight member? Fuck. Shit. No, okay. Alright. We go to number five. All right, we rescued Joseph. It's going pretty good. That, that second scenario went so much better than our first one did. Like, holy hell. Once again, the power of the hammer, though, right? Um, We are two bonus experience, so we're at 6 XP. That's another hammer! And I agree. We're going to join the Lodge, right? That's the next step of the plan, I assume. All right, I agree. Skip to pro pro Price of Progress 8. You shake Mr. Sanford's hand. His grip is cold but strong. The other members of the Lodge seem to re relax around you. We will do great work together, my friends, says Sanford. Great works indeed. You remember the Lodge? We're going to add a cultist to the bag for the remainder of the campaign. Not even we're lying, huh? Just yeah, we are. Uh, we are members of the lodge. All right. 
You know what the hammer's good for? Some beefed up rats? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Don't read that, Justin. Amen. Let's go hit some... Well, we're not going to hit the rats today. I got to play... I got to play Alice in Wonder... Arkham in Wonderland. But uh, that went very well. Um, I mean, how is our... I mean, like our... We're still three to one for auto fails, but somehow this feels less bad than it was in the first one. Maybe because, you know, we just, like, we killed it. We did really good in that scenario. So, gotta respect the wins just as much as we complain about the losses. That is just good game sense. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Next week, we're going to be doing The Secret Name, both on Twitch and YouTube. I play uh, Arkham every Tuesday and Friday, so if you want to watch live, there's a link to our YouTube channel, uh, sorry, our Twitch channel down in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and as always, a GG's!